And the second thing he talks about is making marks for the dead. When I was growing up, I wouldn't even have known what that was, but today everybody knows some cutters, right? They know people that cut, and uh, they, they cut themselves for, you know, they make marks and they'll even make tattoos with, by, you know, making a sore in their arm and keeping it from healing up and making scar marks and so forth. And I'm not saying go out and look for it, but you'll notice it now that I've mentioned it. You'll see it quite a bit more. Uh, because it's just, and people do it today, but then there's the, I think it's demonic uh, possession, a lot of the cutting, but I've also talked to people, there's a, uh, I believe it or not, there are a lot of Christians that have struggled with uh, with uh, cutting themselves and bleeding. And they, I guess you get, I don't like the feeling of it, but you get a your body responds to trauma you know, with chemicals and it's a type of drug addiction cutting yourself and that sort of thing. Well, these individuals would cut themselves to show mourning and disfigure themselves uh, to make marks to remember the dead. And actually, um, a lot of the people that I know that have marked themselves or put tattoos on themselves have put tattoos of deceased loved ones, you know? You know, the common heart with mom in it, you know? Or the, um, for a lot of people, you know, a date, such and such date and a name that you lost someone. The Bible says, don't do that. Don't do that. You say, why, Pastor? Well, there's a fixation, actually, with death. And there is a lack of awareness of the hope of eternal life that is attached to that. I'm not against a memory or a memorial, but the Bible says, don't do it to yourself. Now, here are some thoughts that I have on that. I've preached a number of funerals uh, in, uh, in my ministry and probably will preach quite a few more. One of the things that I realize is that sorrow is natural, but God's intention is that sorrow is temporary. One of the wonderful things about the way that God made us is that we heal. We, we heal, we get past things, we get over things. And I don't mean we forget good things, you know, where it's just like, oh, you know, it's just so wrong to forget somebody that's wonderful, good, no, but you just, you die if you go through the pain all the time, it'll kill you. And so God's made it so that we could get over things, but some people just want to want to uh, drink the cup of sorrows. They, they want to be uh, not remembering God's goodness, not remembering eternity or the, brev the, the brevity of life and the hope of eternal life, and they want to emphasize those things. So it's just something morbid about tattoos. Uh, again, our culture has <clears throat> lost some of the dread, but it used to be that the kind of pe the kind the people that got tattoos, uh, a lot of them did it to be intimidating. They wanted to be kind of dreadful uh, gangs, people that were in gangs and want to be feared, uh, people without muscles but fat arms and wanted to you know, distract from the fact that they were fat, not muscular, like bikers. And uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm mean to everybody tonight, huh? But it's really true. You know, big old fat arms, you start like, well, you're just fat, man. You ain't tough just because you, you know, rode all over yourself. But, uh, you know, <laughs> um, a lot of people, you know, got used to get tattoos. It kind of to be intimidating was a lot of it. Today, it's just like everybody does it. But there's something behind it. There's an inherent uh, idea behind it.